Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon. Today we're taking a look at the NECA Toonie Terrors, Friday the 13th. This is Jason Voorhees. And as you can tell, the package did get a little crushed in transit, but that's okay. We're not keeping them in the box. We're going to tear into it and take a look at Jason Voorhees. First things first look at the package we've got the movie theater backdrop with posters of uh, Jason Voorhees there as you recall last time we took a look at the Nightmare on Elm Street Toonie Terrors from NECA Freddy Krueger so anyway we'll take a look at the back it's got a nice little uh, dark eerie forest backdrop that you can cut out we're not gonna cut it out we're not gonna display it we're going to tear open into this package and take a look at Jason Voorhees. And so here we have the Toonie Terrors, Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees from NECA. And as you can see, just like the Freddy Krueger figure, he is done in the same style as the old Scooby-Doo cartoons. Very zombie-esque. And just like with the Freddy Krueger figure, let's take a minute to appreciate the paint application on his machete where they made it look kind of reflective and he has a bit more articulation than Freddy he did not come with a display stand I don't think he came with a display stand let me double check He did not come with a display stand, but he doesn't need one. He stands pretty well. And as you can see here, this is the real deal, Jason Voorhees. He's got the red checks on his hockey mask. The mask does not come off. His head does spin all the way around. His arms do go all the way around. There is no elbow articulation. So this arm hangs straight, this arm bends, uh, there is wrist swivel. You can pose him to where it looks like he's getting ready to slash. Or let, make it look like he's uh, kind of tapping his head or his mask with the machete just waiting for you to make a wrong move. <laughs> uh, his legs do go up to about there. They go back about that far. There is no ankle swivel or articulation. There's no waist articulation. Uh, the, the hands do turn all the way around. As I said, um, he did come with a blade. The blade, let's see if the blade the blade, the machete, can be held very securely uh, upside down so he can stab. I guess he'd have to stab like this. Um, but he also holds it very securely the other way as well. Very nice looking figure, very crisp. The paint application is incredibly crisp. NECA usually does do a very good job with their figures. And so if you have any of the uh, Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated figures, I'm sure Jason Voorhees would go along perfectly with those figures. Could you imagine that, guys? Scooby-Doo versus Jason Voorhees. <laughs> there we go. Now let's go ahead and bring in Freddy Krueger from the same line. And we'll have Freddy versus Jason. There we go. And as you can see here, Jason is just a little bit taller than Freddy. 
he comes in at about six inches tall. And these guys look great displayed together. I think next time I may pick up Pennywise the Clown. The vintage Pennywise the Clown of the same line. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. The NECA Toonie Terrors Friday the 13th This has been Jason Voorhees I've been Shannon, this has been Comic Gun TV The only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides Take care, geeks If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there So you stay up to date on all things geek culture Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side For more videos just like the one you just watched I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.